For this origami flapping bird piece, we are going to need to start with a traditional origami square. And cut off the extra. Okay, we have a valley fold going at a diagonal. We get, we're gonna need to get a diagonal valley fold in the other direction. So we're gonna bring the top right down to the bottom left. And crease. Now, when you open it, you should have two diagonal valley folds, making an X. Flip the whole thing over so that they're now mountain folds. And we're going to bring the top down to the bottom, making a horizontal valley fold. Okay, now if you open it up. We're going to take this whole thing, flip it over so that we should have a horizontal mountain fold with two diagonal valley folds. Now if your middle of your X is popped up, take your pointer finger and push down until the middle of the X pops down and these two sides are up. Bring these two sides in and down and then push the top down so that we have a triangle with two flaps on the right and two flaps on the left. Now we're going to need to take this top flap that's on the right and we're going to turn it like a page so that way we have three flaps on the left and one flap on the right. Now we're going to take this bottom edge and we're going to fold it up to line it up with this edge. So I'm taking this bottom edge up to this edge. So this corner right here is going to get really pointy. Okay, now our next step. When you unfold it, it should look like this. Now what we're going to do is take this top edge right here and we're going to start to open it up and it's not going to want to open up because we have all these other things so we're going to let me think about the words i want to use to make this explain the best we're taking this top edge just the top one and we're following along this crease to fold this back but none of these guys want to do what they're supposed to do so we're going to take this bottom point lay it down so we just have this top one point that's being difficult. And we are going to want to get to step six. If you're following along with the step-by-step -step instructions in your Google Drive, it makes it a lot easier for this one because you can see what the step should look like afterwards. So I'm going to try to make this top edge line up with this folded edge. And when I do that, it should end up looking like this. I really think that this flapping bird project is easiest if you're watching the video and following along with the paper instructions. So now I flip it over and I'm gonna try and do the same thing on the other side. So I'm taking this and lining this bottom edge up with this angle, following along with the crease that I'd made a while back. Now I'm taking this rough edge here, lining it up with the folded edge. So it should look like this weird, almost boomerang shape. Okay, we are getting close to being done. Now we're going to take this piece and we're gonna make the neck of our bird. So we're gonna take this and fold it up and we're kind of following the same diagonal line that's created here.
Now I'm going to fold this down and that's going to create the bird's head or the crease for the bird's head. Okay. Now we've made our guideline creases for the bird's neck and head. We have to unfold this. So now we have it unfolded. We're back in our other position with it unfolded. We're going to open this up and try and reverse the crease so that way it's folded on the outsides. So now instead of the bird's head being folded just on one side, it's on the outside of both sides. Now I have to do the same thing for the head. Yeah, now we have our bird's neck and head. All right, let's see. I think we are done with these steps. Yep, now the fun part. So if you hold two fingers on the bird's chest and two fing or and then one hand on the bird's tail, then you pull, gently pull until the wings flap down. And then go back together and then the wings should continue to flap by together and apart, together and apart. Isn't that cool? But if you go too far apart, things will start to get wonky. Isn't that cool? And then you can just smush it flat when you want to like store it inside a book or in a drawer or something. All right, have fun making your flapping bird.